If you're growing in a cold climate like us, then planting your hardneck garlic in the fall is really going to give you the best results. But there are a couple of things that you really want to get right. We're going to cover it all in this video with a look at the full planting process and step-by-step -step instructions. That's coming up. Hi, I'm Jared, founder of the Vegetable Academy, where I help serious home growers work toward vegetable mastery. It is early November right now for us, and under this fresh blanket of snow are hundreds of garlic cloves already growing. Now you might be concerned to know that they're already growing and winter is upon us, but that's actually what we want for the best yields next year. Because we've planted them at the right depth, with the right timing, and with a thick layer of mulch on top, they're going to survive the harsh temperatures of winter just fine. Now of course I'm not going to show you how to plant garlic in the snow, so let's go back in time a few weeks to have a look at the full process. Now for your viewing pleasure and my working pleasure, I chose not to do any talking during this video, but I do show you every step along the way. If you're interested in more of the finer details, check out the written description down below where I've included the step-by-step -step instructions and timestamps for your reference as well. I think that's all. Let's get into it.
up to like 20. So there's a look at the full process for planting hardneck garlic in a cold climate. I'm curious what you thought about this video format, so please leave a comment below and let me know. And I'll remind you that there are a full list of instructions down below in the video description as well. Now if you want to grow your own food with more confidence and achieve consistent results year after year, then I'd love to work with you. To get started, check out my free training which you can find in a link in the description below. There I will break down three of the major gardening myths that may be holding you back and reveal some of the changes that we've been able to make to unlock the true potential of our growing space and eat from our garden on a year-round basis, even in a cold climate. I'll see you there. That's all for this one. Happy planting.